According to our Tim McMahon, James Harden must pass six, yes, six consecutive negative COVID-19 tests before being allowed to rejoin the Rockets on Monday. Harden reported late to camp this week after partying in Atlanta for rapper Lil Baby's birthday without a mask on, might I add. And all of this happening amidst reports of a trade request by the Houston Star. So Stephen A, Harden wants to be traded. He's been very adamant about it. If he is, will he be better suited for Brooklyn or for Philly? Well, the first thing I want to say is this. A lot of people are giving him a lot of heat because of how irresponsible they believe and unprofessional he has been. Um, if it was an aberration, uh, you know, uh, my attitude is this with James Harden. He did it on purpose because he wants to emphatically send a message to the Houston Rockets. He wants to sure. get the hell out of there. He doesn't want to be there anymore. He might want to end his career there a few years from now and come back, but he wants to go someplace else where he's got a shot to win a championship. That's his priority, and I think this was a, a, a maneuver he used to try to force Houston's hand. It's unfortunate, but we've seen it before when players are desperate to get out of a situation. Having said all of that, if I had to choose between the two, I would choose Brooklyn for this reason and this reason above all else. I think James Harden, with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, is the only possibility to dethrone the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't think anybody else has a chance. I sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. I think that the Lakers are not only clear favorites, they're prohibitive favorites uh, by distance. They, I mean, I, I look at the Los Angeles Lakers as being head and shoulders above everybody else right now, and I don't think anybody has a chance of knocking them off unless James Harden arrives in Brooklyn. The only reason I don't say Philly is because I think Philly would have to give up Simmons or Embiid Max to get Harden, whereas obviously Brooklyn would not have to give up Kyrie and KD in order to get him. Him joining uh, them, that three, I, I think is what it will take. Well, I, I disagree with the Nets thing because when you look at Levert and Dinwiddie's contracts and when they're up, et cetera, they're not really that valuable as trading commod tradable commodities more than maybe what the Sixers have, Thibel. I mean, yeah, they are more than Thibel or Tobias Harris where you have to take a bad contract or some draft picks that Maury may be able to, to kind of maneuver with. Um, so I would say if we're assuming that you can add uh, James Harden without giving up, obviously not KD or Kyrie, then why do we have to assume that you must give up either Simmons or Embiid to get Harden in Philadelphia? And so if we're looking at it that way, I would say Philly. But more than that, Stephen A., even if we're not looking at it that way, I think I'm going to say uh, – not I think, I'll, I'll say Philly. And here's the reason. If he goes to Brooklyn, they will be favored to, at the very least, make the finals. You have two MVP players, caliber players in KD and James Harden, and you have a, a more than just an all-star in Kyrie Irving, right? And yet, how do we know how the chemistry works there? Because James Harden hasn't lasted long with any other superstar. And Kyrie's a ball stopper. By the way, Kyrie's one of my favorite players to watch. I know it sounds like I'm negative on him a lot. I, I, he a, he's, might be the best show in the NBA. He's way up there. But he's a ball stopper, and so is James Harden. How does that work? Versus Harden goes to Philadelphia, and now whether it's Harden or Simmons with the ball in their hands, it's a problem. If you have to put Simmons in a dunker spot and Harden has the ball, that's impossible. But let's say Simmons is out of there and it's just Harden and Embiid. How does that work? Inside out with Harden and Embiid? Yeah, because Embiid is a force to be reckoned with, and obviously so is Harden. And if you win there, not only is the fit better, and you're playing for the GM who knows all about you, have a good relationship with, but, but if you win in Philadelphia, it wasn't like as soon as you got there, if you don't win, it's a disaster. Mm -hmm. You have a good chance to win, and if you win, you get credit. In Brooklyn, you probably have a worse chance to win than people realize. And even if you do, well, you were supposed to. So I'm going to go with Philly. Well, I feel where you're coming from. I just disagree because I think that in Philly's case, you'd have to give up Ben Simmons. There's no way that Houston would do a deal without him uh, or for, for Harden without including him. In the case of Brooklyn, when you've got Dinwiddie and you've got uh, uh, Levert, who can ball, and then you add to that somebody like a Tory and Prince and numerous picks, you never know what could happen. And when I think about Harden with Kyrie and KD, first of all, we all know KD to be one of the most efficient and unselfish superstars in the game in terms of he doesn't require a lot of volume in order to be very efficient and productive. 
In the case of James Harden, I would remind everybody over the last four years, he's averaged at least seven assists. One time about four or five years ago, he led the league in assists at 11.2 a game. Um, and he has the capability to be incredibly un unselfish and distribute the basketball. We may have questions about Kyrie because Kyrie's a showstopper that with the nastiest handle on earth that can dance all day on you. But when you look at Harden and KD together, I think that would be far more lethal, and I think that would be the lone chance. Now, if you had Embiid with Simmons and Harden, of course I feel that way. I just don't think that Simmons would be there. But in the case of Harden with KD and Kyrie, I think, that is the only, I think that's more plausible to happen, and I think that's the only shot the entire NBA has of knocking off the Los Angeles Lakers. There is no other chance of knocking them off, in my estimation. Well, I mean, so is it Harden inevitable? Goes out west is it inevitable that he leaves to a team that could really use him? What'd you say, Charlie? Is it is it inevitable he leaves? Is it a done deal? Harden is not. Well, I think it's in inevitable Houston. that he's gone. I just don't think it'll happen before the season. Houston knows he wants out, and Harden went out of his way to make it clear he desperately wants out. So because of that, you can't keep him there because it's going to. It, it's just going to make. Look, PJ Tucker is one of the classiest dudes you can find, man. He didn't want to touch the subject. He didn't want to be put in this position. Steven Silas, an African-American, getting his first coaching job after 20 years as an assistant, he didn't want to be put in this position. You can't have that going on all year. They have to let him go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.